Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we are gonna be making a tug toy out of t-shirts for your dog to play with. So if you have a couple of old t-shirts lying around, grab them. That's all you're gonna need is two old t-shirts and a pair of scissors. Um, also, my husband and I recently cleaned out our closet. Like we really did a number on our closet. We had bags and bags and bags of stuff to donate, which we did donate. So I didn't have any t-shirts. So I went to Walmart and I got a couple um, cheap t-shirts, which are actually pretty darn soft. I'm very happy about. So uh, you can also go buy t cheap t-shirts if you like, or if you just have old t-shirts that you're gonna throw out, go ahead and use those. We're gonna make a tug toy for your dog stick with me in this video. All right, real quick before we get started, thank you so much for being here. Again, my name is Jessica, the Furry Family Coach. If you are new here, look right down there at that subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video. Also, a thumbs up is a best, the best compliment you can give. So I hope you do give it. Uh, go ahead and grab your two t-shirts and a pair of scissors. That's all we're gonna need for this video today. Let's get right to it. All right guys, so playing with your dog is one of the best things you can do and you should play with your dog every single day. Now the amount and type of play are gonna differ because every dog is different, but I think a tug toy, as long as your dog has all of their teeth still, and I know some senior dogs may not, grab two t-shirts and we're gonna start cutting because that's literally all this is gonna take, two t-shirts and a pair of scissors. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is, so the first thing we wanna do is just cut out any seams that we may have. So I'm gonna cut off the bottom of the t-shirt, I'm gonna cut off the sleeves, and I'm gonna cut the uh, collar off as well because there are seams on all of it. So let's go ahead and get these cut. And it doesn't have to be you know, exact or precise. We're just gonna cut and get all of the seams off of the t-shirt. All right, so now that we've got that done, all we're gonna do is start the base of our shirt and we're gonna cut two to three inch wide slits at the bottom. All we're gonna do is pull and we will get our strips. Oop, there's a tag in here, so I'm gonna also cut this tag out. We get our strips of fabric, just like that. So find your slit and pull, just like that. And if you get stuck on a seam, just cut at the seam. All right, so we've got all the strips from our first shirt. We're just gonna repeat the same thing with the second shirt.
silly girl. What you doing? What you doing? You don't want me to do a video? Okay, so basically I have wound up with long strips and short strips. Now, the short strips, I don't know, you can try to make a small tug toy out of the short strips, or you can set them aside and reuse them for something else. It's the long strips that we want. Um, and for, for me, this is the hardest part, tying them all together <laughs> and making a knot at the top. So that's the first thing you wanna do. So now that we've got our knot at the top, we are going to separate our pieces into three sections. And I mean, if you wanna be like OCD about it, you can count them out, I didn't. Um, but then all we're gonna do is braid. Okay, so when you get close to the end, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing you did at the top and tie a knot. All right, so like I said, for me, the knots are the hardest parts, but I got through it. And then on the ends, if you just wanna um, even these up, go ahead and do that. And there you have it, there's your tug toy. So all that's left to do is play with your dog with it. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah. What do you think, what do you think? You can get it, you can get it, 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 get it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, daddy can get you to growl. All right, guys, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Give this a try and let me know how it works out. The best way to do that is to check the description below and find the link to the group. Join the family. That way you can post pictures and videos. You can share what's going on with you or your dog. I would love to know how this works out and how much your dog loves it. So you can post that there. You can also just comment below the video and let me know how it works out. I would love to hear from you. Uh, I, I, one more time, real quick before you go, if you look right down there and that subscribe button is red, go ahead and click it, turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. Um, as always, a thumbs up is the best compliment you can give. Also, there's gonna be another video popping up, I think right about here. Definitely recommend you checking that one out next and I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.